home, you must wear a mask. It put out a promotional video to help convince people. Everyone who has to leave their house has to wear a face mask. Everyone. I know. They may be told you that masks wouldn't protect you, but there are studies proving that even a homemade mask can be partially protective. Partially. Any protection is essential today. So there's that message, and we want to bring in Dr. Vladimir Jamal. He's uh, with the Czech Academy of Sciences and uh, joins us now live from Prague. Good to have you with us. Hello. Hello, hello. So, so until Monday, Americans had been told it was not necessary to wear masks. Now it appears that guidance was motivated purely by the fact that there just aren't enough masks available in the United States uh, for our medical professionals, never mind the general public. So tell us how wearing masks has made a difference to the spread of the coronavirus in the Czech Republic. Um, we were observing a substantial decrease in the growth factor of the of the coronavirus uh, spread in the Czech Republic uh, shortly after uh, we have taken this uh, among other among other uh, measures so but it is difficult to say whether just the mask would help but if you combine it with all other measures it can help protect to protect other people around you it is not that you are protecting yourself but it is to protect other people in case you are already infected, but you don't know about it yet. Right, and of course you're saying it is important that, uh, that we wear these face masks if you're sick or if you're healthy indeed, and, and that they will make a difference along with other things, of course, social distancing. But this is what the WHO says about that. Let's just take a listen. Mm -hmm. WHO uh, recommends that the wearing of a mask by a member of the public is to prevent that individual giving the disease to somebody else. We don't generally recommend the wearing of masks in public by otherwise well individuals. Uh, and the WHO went, the, he went on to say, the representative, that uh, there's no evidence to suggest masks offer any benefit for a healthy person and could even expose them to the virus if that person doesn't use the mask correctly. What do you say to that? Well, um, I'm not a virologist, neither an epidemiologist. So, but what I've heard is that the disease, you can be contagious several days, maybe even more than a week without knowing that you are contagious. So by wearing a mask, uh, you are precautious in not infecting your neighborhood, the people around you, your family members, your colleagues at work, the people you meet at supermarket where you still can buy grocery or whatever, food for your family. So the principle, we don't expect the mask would protect you from viral infection that is airborne but we expect that the handmade mask if it is properly sealed and fitted on your face can substantially reduce the transfer of infection to people around you because it will be largely stopped at your homemade mask all right, very interesting, and I, I do, before you want to go, just uh, before you go, I want to point out that John Hopkins University says that the Czech Republic has about 3,001 cases of uh, coronavirus and 23 deaths. So certainly you're doing something right there in the Czech Republic. And uh, Dr. Vladimir Jamal, thank you so much uh, for joining us. We do appreciate it. Thank you very much.